Over you, and you have the guts to tell me it's your natural body odor. No, 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 but it's just a small, small, like that. It's now. Small. You see, you are being consumed with frivolities, and that's not what I want for you. When you start working, you'll be able to afford all these things you take without my permission. Okay, emphasis being on when, past, now, present. Can you just allow me to live my youthful life? But for the fact that I discovered the second you left this house this morning that you stole from me. Me? If you needed money, why didn't you just ask me? 
You are a chronic liar and an unrepentant thief. I give you two minutes. Only two minutes to produce the 30,000 error that you stole from me this morning. I did not take your money. I didn't take your money. I don't know why I'm wasting my time. So what was your excuse again? That you didn't steal from me? No, speak. I'm listening. Talk now. Who owns this? Uh, whose is it? Uh, that... Okay, 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 okay. I saw, actually saw this along the way. And as a good Samaritan, I decided to just... Shut up! You know, I saw that guy leaving my house, but I had to confirm my suspicions. Beauty, so you not only lie to me and disrespect me and even steal from me, but you also bring your boyfriends into my house? Oh, so this is why you refuse to stay with my mom and papa, right? So you can turn my house into a brothel. I'm sorry, no. You will be sorry. I'm going to kind of mistake this one now. Oh no, no, no. Should I hidden the money somewhere else? I was busy with the presentation for a client. No, it's all good. It's what you did. <laughs> because I'm here to have a very good conversation with you. A serious one. Serious conversation. I hope there's no problem. There is a problem in case you've not noticed. And I want to start by asking you a serious question. I'm begging to be honest with me. Uh, Leo, what is it? Are you still interested in this relationship? Leo, why are you asking me this kind of question? And why are you acting as if you don't care? What do you mean? Meg, listen, it took me six good months to convince you to be with me. We are three months in this relationship, and you've refused to know my house. You don't even know where I stay. Neither do I know yours. Leo. Let me finish. The only time I spend time with you is either I come to your office, or we'll hang out at the restaurant, or we'll talk on phone, which you rarely pick up, or even call. Meg, what is happening? Yeah, but I told you my story. I'm only being cautious. That he dated a man for six years, and he ditched you for another lady. And so what? He doesn't deserve you. It is his loss. That is in the past. You have to move on with your life and stop punishing me for the sins of your ex. Because we all have ex stories. Right? Okay, Leo, I've heard you. I guess I'll just have to try and adjust. Promise.
Let this be our little secret. Come. Yes. I see something. I go for it. I don't do the usual cliche man hunt woman thing. Our little secret. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, what can I offer you? Um, homemade meal. I can't remember the last time I had one. Yeah, well, you're in luck. I have just the thing, but I have to heat it up. Alright. Let's go there. <laughs> okay. Go there. <laughs> Babe, mm -hmm. check this out. I learned the event is going to be huge. We should attend. Uh, I'm not sure I can, you know. honestly. <laughs> you know how my sister is you now. It's like a stumbling block in my life. How? Look at me now. At my age and my exposure. My sister still treats me like I'm 13 years old. That is okay, because she lets her. And you depend on her. Once you become independent and you start making your own money, she will respect you. But how am I supposed to earn respect and be independent when I don't have any source of income? You need men to take care of you. So you don't have to depend on her. And you also need to stop hanging around that Jerry of a guy. Uh, that hardly has mm, your time. Mm, you know, not even you can stop me from seeing Jerry. I love him. I love Jerry. Listen, girl. One man cannot take care of a girl. She need men in your life. Speaking of which, a man came to see my sister yesterday. Oh my God, he is dripping hard. Did you get his contacts? Girl, I kissed him and then I gave him my number. <laughs> you are growing so bad. Yes, girl. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Meg, that reminds me. Yeah. How is Leo? Leo. <laughs> Well, he's a perfect gentleman and he treats me like a queen. We're getting along very well. Wow. I mean, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, did you finally remove the visitation embargo? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I spent the weekend at his place and he comes to mind quite frequently. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, girl. You mean you spent the weekend in his place? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, wait, did you guys, um... Ah, 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 don't get any funny ideas. <laughs> well, you see, I am so happy for you. You mm. just have to be very, very careful, as she can never be. I will be. Anyway, how is your hunt for a baby daddy going? <sighs> Meg, the all compression love as you draw. That's the cliche. Mm. And you know, man, now once you fall, they would demand total submission. Or they try to compel you. Yeah, but I don't think there's anything wrong with being submissive to your man. Meg, what? I am not ready. I am not ready to try that again with any man. No, <sighs> I've learned my lesson. What I just want right now is children. Maybe one or two, and after that, the guy can go to blazes for all I care. Uh -uh. Yes. Sister, it's not fights now. Ha. Sorry, don't be angry. Please, <laughs> not ready yet. She broke, Meg. man. Ah. You just leave me, leave me. I don't think anybody for that go. Come in. Jesus. Hi. Um, I just wanted to let you know I won't be coming back home tomorrow. Why? Mm, we've forgotten. Why? It's my birthday tomorrow. Uh, I'm sorry, I did forget. Mm, it's okay. I understand you're very busy. Anyway, how are you celebrating and with who? Well, I just want to have a little get together with my girlfriend. That's all. You mean your boyfriend? Ah! <laughs> I don't have a boyfriend though. Mm -hmm. I forgot. The one you brought to my house the other day is your man friend. 
Anyway, what do you want for your birthday? Mm, something light. I mean, um, anything good, anything nice. <laughs> okay. Remind me in the morning. I'll give you some money so you can take your friends out for drinks. But you have to be careful. Of course, I promise. I'll be careful. Thank you so much, sis. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow is not my bed deal. It's today. I hate it that you're so forgetful about my birthday. Uh, only 200 key. 200 key. Uh, 200,000 now will not be enough for me to buy the things that I want to buy now. Why are you always so stingy with me when it comes to money? What is it when it's time for you to unclass my bra and do all those terrible things to me? You can do them so easily. You know what? Just, just send it 200 key already. Just send it. Whatever. Hey, darling. Happy birthday once again. Mm. Hmm. You text me my day. I'm glad you liked it. I loved it. <sighs> it's so sad that you're not in town. You had to go for business. I would have spent the day cuddled up in your arms and just kissing you and promising you. Baby, I miss you so much. Look, look, babe, I miss you more than words can describe. I kind of imagine some wonderful moments if I was there with you right now. Oh my god, that would have been so electrifying. <sighs> Hurry up and come back to me, Joe. I can't wait to do all those things to you, you know now. Look, I'll be back before you can say Jack Robinson. Jack Robinson. <laughs> oh, God. But, babe, look, um, I have to go right now. Duty calls. Love you. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I was beginning to wonder if you were checking up for to use in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me something. What kind of man in his right mind mm. want to chunk off mm. when he has someone like you? <laughs> I <himself>? wonder. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> Don't you get tired? Never. You said you wanted to speak to me about something. What's up? Babe, um, my business is, I'm having a problem with my business. And there's some Chinese spare parts that I need to bring in. But the problem is that they want me to pay two thirds of the money deposit. I only have one. So, how much are we looking at? 45 million. I have 15, so I need to try and raise another 15. Baby, I don't have that kind of money. I know, but I was thinking, you know, with your influence in the bank, you can help me secure a loan and I'll pay it back. Mm. Do you have collateral? I can drop this house. Look, I don't mind. It's quick cash, and once I turn over, there's going to be money everywhere. And guess what? We can start planning our wedding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so? Mm. So? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll get it for you before the week is over. Baby, that's what, that's what I love you. <laughs> I love you too. I love you so much. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Thank you. 
Peter, how are you? Fine. I'm um, open the gate. Oga said I cannot open the gate for anybody. What do you mean Oga said you should open the gate for anybody? Where did they go? Where did they go? You said I cannot open the gate. Please out of my way. And why were you not taking my calls last night? Oh, uh, I was messed up last night. I was drunk, so I didn't know when all that were happening. I'm sorry. Leo, about. what's going on? Nothing. Hey, let's go downstairs and watch. Let's go and chill out on the couch and have some fun. Man, man, come on, 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 man. That may be Jessica's. My, my friend Tony was here with his girlfriend. So it's possible she left that. Maybe it's nothing, right? That's the namest excuse I've ever heard in my life. Whatever this is, I promise you, you will suffer. No, Meg, Meg, Meg. It's best to talk about it. I mean, ever since I got back from my night out with the girls, my birthday bash, you've had this sad look, this long face like the world is coming to an end. What's wrong? Sis, what's the problem? It's Leo. Leo? What about Leo? He didn't want to talk to me last night. I was at his place this afternoon and he was acting for me. 
and I went into his bedroom and I saw a girl's underwear on the floor. Oh my God! I could have sworn that that guy is an angel. Like he can't even hurt a fly. You're joking, Leo? No way. Man, I should have believed my friend Lisa when she said all those things she said about him. Wait, what did she say? No, 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 sis, let's forget about that. No, can't forget no, about no, it. No, 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 no,
Right now, I denounce it. Please let me explain. Beauty, get up. I don't know what got over me. Turn around. Get out of my house and don't come back. I said get up. Turn around. Get out of my house and don't come back. Please, 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 Meg, you know, as if I knew it, you know, these men are not what your heart at all. But you were such a gentleman. How was I supposed to know? And even if Beauty was throwing herself at him, couldn't he have reported her to me or even resisted her advances? <laughs> you know, Meg, um, history has never been proven wrong. Mm? I mean, in all ages, times, and climate, men are all the same everywhere. Wolf in sheep clothing. You're always looking for the, the meek sheep like you and the desperate ones like your sister to pounce on. Man, I, 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 I'm, I just hope you've learned your lesson. Oh, trust me, I have learned my lesson the hard way. You know, give it time, you will heal. Oh, so now that's what you keep saying. That's all I keep hearing. Why does this keep happening to me? I always give my best in every relationship. So now look at me now. I need to settle down. Sometimes I just feel like I made a very big mistake letting Lucas go when he proposed to me. No, Meg, you didn't. Huh? You didn't. That was then. You didn't even know your direction in life. Yeah, look at me now, now. Just look at me. With all the direction and success one could possibly want. But yet I can't find anyone to marry me. I need to be married. I need to have children. Meg, as far as I'm concerned, marriage is not for everyone. I mean, it's better for you to remain happy than to walk into an endless torture all in the name of marriage. Hell no! I'm not ready to give this heart of mine to any, to any man to toy with. I will never. Sola, I wish I can be as emotionally strong as you. And you will. By the time you've learned your lesson the hard, hard way, you will. They never break your hearts before. Now I make you they talk like this. You will learn, oh my sister, you will. Anyway, how is um, your sister, Beauty? Hmm, that one. I'm sure she's in my parents' house. And my mother has been calling my phone off the hook. I'm pretty sure it's because of her. Your mom. Speak of the devil. Pick your call. Pick her call now, Meg. Uh uh, make pick up. <laughs> Mama, I can't believe you are blaming me. Nobody is blaming you completely. But you went overboard trying to get back at her. Oh, she's lucky that I missed. I was aiming for her head. What has come over the both of you? Two blood sisters bicker at each other, can't even stand each other. Is it not her fault? Is it not her fault? The perfect sister busting everyone around. Oh, really? I guess it's also my fault that you steal from me, you bring your little boyfriend into my house, and then you sleep with my man. 
That's my fault as well, right? Beauty, you steal from your sister too? Papa, listen, all that is immaterial right now. I have had my fair share of beauty in this house and I have told her she is no longer my sister and I don't want to see her in my house again. And Mama, you should know that I blame me for this. You are always supporting beauty in all her terrible ways. This is not the free hand you gave me growing up. And look at how it turned out. Mama, beauty can also be better. Just stop supporting her bad ways. Meg. Please, I'm sorry. Forgive your sister. And you, beauty, apologize to your sister. Come on. Apologize to her. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I never expected us to get here. No, thanks to you, we are here. It's okay. It's okay. The guy in question does not deserve any of you. It is hard time you realized it. I've been in the States since, you know, that's why I settled like till now. I came back to Nigeria to fucking send it off for good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look at you. You look so good. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Um, would you catch up? You know, like look for drinks, something, you know. We should, we really should. That would be great. Let yeah. me just give you my card. Um, there we go. My number is right there. So just call okay. me, we'll talk. Wow. Look at you, <laughs> Chief Executive Officer. Mm -hmm. You know, I never for once doubted that you get here. Because back then in school, like you realized about what you wanted, I knew how to go about it. So thank you, means a lot to me. <laughs> anyway, call me. We'll talk better, okay? Oh sure, I'm definitely gonna call you. Wow. I guess it goes to show that the boys are running around are just blind to what a rare gem you are. You're gassing me up, Greg. Is that what it is? Listen, I lost you once before. I don't want to lose you again. Greg. I have always adored you from back in school. I just felt that if I had approached you, 
I mean, you were so determined towards achieving your goals in school. So, uh, I feel like you might not have my time. Oh, well, Greg, I don't even know if I'm ready to try now. We're never ready. Could just try. So we can... Baby, but I called you now. I told you I was coming. Babe, I understand, but I cannot miss this meeting. I can't miss it. Baby, what's going on between us? <sighs> what's happening? I mean, when did we even spend quality time together? When was the last time we had meaningful conversation? Tell me. I understand, and it's totally my fault. But baby, I'll make it up to you. I promise. Babe, don't be like that. Smile now. Babes, come on, smile. Babe, smile. Smile. <laughs> come, let's go. No, don't worry, go. I'll be fine. Please, come on. Come on, I'll be fine. <laughs> ah God! Um, you don't they run? If like say that one, big pass you. Run nothing, man. But seriously, you know my way. I'm always yeah. in and I'm always yeah. out. My auntie has just been preaching love all this time, man. Oh um, man, call them money now. What did they wait for? That's the problem, my brother. She's a student. She has nothing to offer. No, wrong format, bro. Wrong format. Run and never look back. Ha. I've been posting her all this time, and I was thinking I would have moved out my house before she arrived. You self smart, you can't whine and say they go business meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what, BJ? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Sandra dropped 15 million in my account last week. Whoa! 15 <laughs> mil? <laughs> that high they take do a match, do you they use? <laughs> Juju, they <Whoa>. <laughs> I swear. But seriously, uh, yeah. all these women that are past 30, yeah. you grab them, man. Promise engagement to them. Yes. They're willing to do anything, anything. for you, my brother. Yeah, but tell, but tell me, how? How do you do this? Tell you, know, me. You, you just find the right one, you know? Get that person, engage them. Like yeah. I say, make her believe and make sure her pop to this. So we get the right one like that, you understand? Yes. Just promise them engagement. But if you look at her, and she's looking like she's trying to play stubborn. Yeah. Like, ah, that guard yeah. up on everything. Ask guy, man, where would we be? We suppose that's gone. Bring Becca. that thing, man! Ah, boy. Meg, I'm tired. What's do you run, Josh? I'm tired. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm tired myself. What about um, that um, Greg guy? Uh, you know, he's there. We're in touch. You know, it's becoming a routine. I'm the last person that he talks to every night before he goes to bed. I'm the first person he reaches out to in the morning. You know, that's every lady's dream. Mm, it's boring. <sighs> so what do you think of him? Well, I mean, he's always been a nice guy. Right from school days, but... <laughs> 11 years is not 11 days. So for all I know, he might have changed. Meg, how would you know if this guy has changed for good or bad if you don't go close? <laughs> See, why don't you give this guy a chance? Uh, so I think I'm fast running out of chances. Chances? Look, Grace, I didn't tell you to go and fall in love. I refuse to use your brain. No! You know, just take it one step. See you later. See you later, dear. Bye. Good morning, beautiful. <laughs> Look, a little compliment with no hearts. It's too early in the morning for you to be talking a bit.
Look, in fact, I do. Um, I have a presentation for one of the biggest contracts in around 30 minutes from now. Good luck in wasting your time. Well, I guess it was worth it. Look, how about we talk later over lunch or dinner? How does that sound? You know, you are necessary evil. Are you aware? I've never been told that before. Look, give me your address and your number and I'll come pick you up later. Please? Babes, hurry up now. Hurry up. Ah, I need to go and see Jerry now. Calm down. You and this Jerry. Hurry up now. Ah, you've been brushing his hair for like... Hey, baby. Honestly, I'll soon be on my way. What's with the excuse now? Really? What's going on? Whatever. What's happening, babe? Seems to me that this guy Jerry is playing you. Honestly, I don't understand. I don't. This is the only guy that I have genuine feelings for. Real feelings. You. Beauty. Real feelings for a man? Yes, no. Honestly, it's just that I can't remember the last time we were intimate. Mm. I can't. Mm. So, all these guys with their sleep it, waiting be that. Well, there's a difference between giving your body to a man and giving your heart to a man. Jerry is the man that I love. Yes, I give my body to different men just to meet up, you know, measure up level up but jerry is that man that when i'm with him i connect you know i love him <laughs> hi super story <clears throat> anyway i'm happy your appointment didn't work out you have to escort me to my uncle's place mm. and the shame on him for dear <laughs> well the guy is loaded ciao he came back from the state and he's staying at the hotel for the meantime so are we sleeping over Take it easy now. Uh-uh. Uh, now your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking now. You know. Hey now, hurry up. Let's go. I beg. Uh, don't brush his hair. Don't do now. Uh, allow me. Let's be going, Joe. <clears throat> Before your uncle goes. No. Mm -mm, I'm not done. Let's go. Let's go. I beg. What else do you need to do? <laughs> Sir. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. Look at you all grown up. I know, you too. Wow, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, Uncle, this is my friend, Beauty. Hi, ah, Beauty. Beauty, this is my uncle. Make sure you give me a number before I leave here. Uncle! What? Let me admire this trust, Beauty. <laughs> Have a seat. Look at you. <laughs> yeah. Um, please, let's, you know. So that's everything. I mean, what, what can I get you guys? Let me order something for you to drink. Something yeah. light. Something light. Yeah. Last time I heard that something light was well, something very strong. <laughs>
You know I'm beautiful. <laughs> well, tell me something that I don't know. Hmm. Well, what you don't know is I want to keep waking up beside you every morning for the rest of my life. And I want you to be the mother of my kids. Um, Greg, you're talking forever here. I know. I'm serious. Well, yeah, but we just started this. I mean, don't you think we need more time to know whether this is what we really want? If it wasn't what I want, I won't be saying these things. Greg, I know. I know, but I need more time, okay? Take as much time as you want. I'll always be here. Thank you. Oh yeah, eat, eat. I cooked for you. Nah, I'm full, actually. Oh baby, come on, I cooked. I know, I'm just full, like, you know, from staring, staring at you. Do you want me to feed you? Okay, no. <laughs> I'm gonna <kill> you. <laughs> Eat then. Okay. You're romantic. I know I'm not. Yes, you are. Okay, I'll feed you for food next time I come. Of all things. No, we're dragging the meat from your mouth. So we can cut it. We share some. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> 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 Thank you for accepting to have dinner with me. I had a nice time. We should do this again. You would have just come off straight to tell me you like me. <laughs> Don't you? What man in his right mind won't like you? I've just met you today, but it feels like I've known you forever. And the worst thing is that I'm traveling soon. <sighs> traveling? Yeah. That deal I told you about in the morning, be hit. <laughs> wow. Congrats. Yeah, but there's a condition. The multinational wants me to finance the company from ground to at least 30%. So they can come in and take care of any of our financial issues. Oh. Yeah. Right. So um why and where are you traveling to? Dubai. Um I have some friends over there I believe I can raise money from. I'll be gone for a week. Um, I will miss you. Even though I don't know for sure. <laughs> I have a parting gift for you. That I want you to hold and cherish until I come back. Close your eyes. <laughs> Lean in. Are your eyes closed? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Jerry, you shouldn't have done that. You don't like it? I love it.
Because you just thought you were on fire. Mm -hmm. He knows just the exact spot. Not be all this our Tringon boys. You know. Maybe they had a detector come again. The future is bright. Mm -hmm. I beg, I beg you. My eye, they shine, they chew. <laughs> I don't see the future. I don't need all those Tringon boys anymore. I beg. I don't tell you. Mm. Shine your eyes. I shine them. Bottom power to you. Hey! Of course! I wish you could go out to job. Don't worry, I got you go back. Alright. <laughs> Come in. Hi, sis. Hi, I'm good. Um, I wanted to let you know that I won't be coming back tonight. Mm. And what's your excuse this time? No, no, no. It's just uh, my final year advanced play project. <laughs> Okay. Just okay. What do you want me to say? Are you going out? Beauty, please, go for your advanced play project or whatever you called it and leave me alone. Okay. Now, well, today I shall. Beauty. I told you I was going to bring it, but then <laughs> you brought it. This is so good. Hey, uh, I'll yes. keep you waiting, okay? I won't keep you waiting. Oh, hello. Good day, madam. Good evening. I want to see Greg. He's in room 202. Is he expecting me? No, but I want to surprise him. I have to call him. But it's a surprise. We don't do like that yet. Um, uh, you couldn't fit. Well, if you don't mind, I can take you there. from the reception, but not from the bar. Surprise, baby! <laughs> Meg? Meg. She's my sister. She's your what? What are you doing here? Please, it's not what you think. If I had any idea that you were seeing Greg, I wouldn't have come close. Oh, like you didn't know I was seeing Leo. Leo was a mistake. <laughs> yes. And I swear, I promise I'll never do it again. See how it almost broke us. And I guess I should be glad. No. I'm truly sorry, Meg. It's only coincidence. I don't know why we're always entangled around the same men. It's always been your desperate attempt to play me out of the things I want. I'll never do it again. 
What did I ever do to you? Why do you hate me so much? I don't. I don't. What exactly haven't you done to me? Meg, I don't hate you. I know we have our fights, but on the contrary, I, I, you hold a special place in my heart. Just go. Please, Meg, please. Beauty, go. Meg, please, let's just talk about this. Let's squash this. Let's it's, fix this once and for all. Get out, Beauty. Please, let's not sleep over it. Get Meg, out. please, I will, I, you need to understand. You need to hear me out. Meg, please. Meg, please, can we just talk about this as sisters? I'm really sorry. Oh Meg, I'm sorry if I raised my voice, but... Why are you so cold this night? I worry. About? Ours. When are we getting married, Jerry? Look, I don't mean to pressure you, but my friends are teasing me with this long engagement. The other day, one Sakaskali called me Lord of the Rings. I just want to make sure it wasn't a bad idea no, getting no, babe, this room. No, babe, it was not. Stand up. Stand up. Look at me. Don't listen to them. Sometimes I have to. Babe, look, my business is in the shambles. Do you know that loan you got me is almost due and I'm, I'm going to need you to give me an extension. Really? I know I'm asking for too much, but baby, once I pay off everything, we can go ahead with our wedding. I have some money with me. Maybe we could use it for our wedding. Then once you clear your business, we can pay back the loan. You want to sponsor our wedding? Why not? No, baby, it hasn't come to that. Look, we're going to be together forever. Why are we rushing? Why are we rushing, babe? I just want to be married. My people are consigned to. Babe, buy us some more time. And I promise you, I'm going to make you happy forever. That's my girl. Yo, bro. Okay. Okay, I'll come and pick you up now. Okay. Uh, are you going out? A mutual friend of I am BJ is just called something about wanting to have a meeting. So let me go check him out. A mutual friend I don't know. Oh, please. Please. Please tell me all the bullshit. You always do this. You always do this. And then you say sorry. Babe, calm down. I know it was my mistake for calling you, bro. I understand that. It was my mistake. I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. Just take me to your house. My sister kicked me out of the house. Look, no, we can't do that. I'm sorry. We, we cannot do that. Sorry? You, you, you can't what? Something has happened. My mom's around, and like I told you, I'm not ready to introduce you to her yet. Why? Can't I, why? Okay. Why did she come? Maybe forget about it. It's nothing. It's nothing. Nothing! You see? You always tell me nothing! You never tell me anything! You never indulge me! I mean... Am I wasting my time with you? Why would you say that? Look, my business has been going down right now. I've made some terrible decisions and like... 
And that's why I've not been having enough time for you. Don't you get it? <sighs> hey, baby. Why didn't you just tell me? Huh? Why? Like, what difference would it make? You're a student. I need money right now. Why would I bother you? I'm a student, but that's why I'm here for you. Look, whichever way I can support you, trust me, I will do it, okay? I really miss you. So tell me, where do I drop you off from now? Calm down and listen to our own side of the story. I'm not going to listen because all you're asking me to do is to listen to rehearsed lies. Maxi, oh. she indulged me. She explained to me how everything got messed up. Thanks to her. Honestly, I didn't know you were seeing Greg. Oh, really? Well, then clap for yourself. Because the last I checked, you told me you were going for a play rehearsal only for it to end up in Greg's room. I didn't know what to tell you, given how strict you've been to me lately. Oh really? How long have you been lying about your movements? Mm -hmm. And you expect me to believe you now? You've been a liar from the word go and you can't change. Honestly, if I knew you were seeing Greg, I would never, I would never have seen him. Noted! Now get out of my house! Because of a man? Because of my man. Meg, I have told you several times with our number to be careful the way you fall head over heel in love with this man. Oh, Salah, you know what? Whatever works for you, then do it. If you've chosen never to fall in love again, then that's fine. But please, I beg you, don't project your philosophy onto me. Wait, wait, are you trying to insult me? I'm not what? insulting you, but I'm tired of you telling me what to do and what not to do. You don't even know how I got here. I don't know and I don't care to know. But all I do know, my darling friend, is that if you think you can get a man to give you children and then just throw him away, then you have another thing coming. And you. If I come back here and meet you here, I will go to prison for your sake. Meg, it's not like that now. Please, no. Oh. <sighs> Peter, I think you need to go back to your parents' house. That's not even an option. It's not an option at all. But you have to. It's far. I mean, to, for me to be going to school from there every day, I, it's not possible. It's... Sister Meg! You saw your day like this. No luck. <laughs> She blatantly refused our apologies, both her friends and mine. Then let her be. You see that easy? What do you expect me to say? I've been trying to reach your uncle, but he's not answering. What do you expect from him? Choose you over your sister. Or choose your sister over you. Come on, girl. If I were you, I would just concentrate on fixing what's broken between you and your sister. Anyway, that's by the way. Are you coming with me? Where? Usual wakana. No ma no ma. Easy cash. But this is big. Chief is offering 300,000 naira per night. Eh? Yeah. Now they talk and with slow motion, so. <laughs> Babes, that money will go a long way for me. To give it to Jerry. Did I hear you well? Yes, now. He needs it for his business. When will you have sense? Ah, babes, I'm his girlfriend now. I need to support him. Mm. It's my own way of showing support now. Hey. You're not encouraging my head now. Anyway, that's your business. Don't ask me for Kobo when you go broke. 
I will try not to move the phone. I beg. I need this money like that. Hold I on. already read. Hold on. Nope. I'm just with her because of the money. Will you ever get to marry one of these girls? Yeah, I guess when I find the right one, I'll settle. Hmm. You will find the right one. If I hear, no could they play game, I beg. Hey, baby. Hi. Don't start with you can't finish. <laughs> Did you just say can't? Oh. Won't rather. Hey, hey, no, no, no. Not until you tell me how your trip went. Start talking. Well, it was partly successful. I was able to raise some cash, but I didn't get everything. If I can just lay my hands on five million naira, I'll be good to go. Five million naira? Yeah. I mean, that is huge. Okay, how do you intend to raise the money? <laughs> I don't know. But I'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Well, I can help you. But you have to pay me back. would even let you dash me such an amount of money. And that leads me to ask, what exactly do you do? <laughs> well, um, I own stomach cafes. Say, that's one of the biggest eateries in town. Oh, yeah. Well, I inherited it from my late father. Wow. Thanks, babe. Look, I promise you, I'll pay you back when I get my hands on some cash. Don't worry, it's fine. Well, what we had wasn't that serious. It was just a fling. It's you I really want. Oh my god, you are shameless. To come here and look me in the eye and tell me that all you had with my sister was sexual adventures. Didn't I give you sex? Wasn't I enough for you? Yes, you are. And more. So what now? Babe, listen. Let me fix this, okay? <laughs> That's like giving you another bullet after you misfired the first time. I promise I won't screw up again, I'm please. I'm sorry, man. Greg. I'm all out of chances to give. Please leave my house. Meg, please, don't leave. Leave before I scream. Meg, please, I'm sorry. Greg, leave my house! Mother, leave my house. Don't do it. Greg, leave my house!
Girl, <laughs> that was one hell of a session. <laughs> ah, babe, I never seen like that before. <laughs> Chief, we gave you Chief, uh, Chief. our special. It's the special time. Oh. Special. So <laughs> I hope we get a little tip, you know, for this sweetness <laughs> we gave to you. In fact, we reserve this one specially for you. <laughs> eh? Chief, what do you say now? Or you want to add more money for us? We don't mind. Chief! Though. Can't go out Sorry, can you Chief help me? now? <laughs> Chief. Can you... Chief, now wake up. I'll be with you. <laughs> we give our overdose. <laughs> You wake up, Joe. Uh -uh. Now say thanks to you. Sorry, help me first. What do you want? Hey, my bro. Okay. Where you been? Oh. Ne. Now me they help you. Eh, <laughs> yeah, one another round. My chief open up more. Eh, eh. So now me they close up. Chief, come and finish what you started. Chief, it's the battle time, oh. Okay. Very now. important. You wake <laughs> up, oh. Ah, this sleep is too deep. Because no, we finish you. Wake up. Wake up, I'll be want another round. We can give you, but you go add small pay, just no. small, small cheese. Chief now, chief, chief, babes, wait, not joke with this one, I'll be coming. Chief, I beg you, come give us money. Chief, wake up. Yes, this is she. Who's this? What? A pack of sexual performance enhancing pills was found in the toilet. So, my lawyer is making a proposition to the police to carry out an autopsy before the case is charged to court. And uh, if the autopsy comes negative? Papa, I really don't want to think about that right now. But let's just keep our fingers crossed. Whatever happens, then my lawyer will revert to me. So, when were you going to tell us how you chased your sister out of the house? I don't think we need to talk about that here right now. Why? Why are you always supporting Margaret? Why? Mama, if there is someone blindly supporting anyone here, then it is you. Look at where all your constant support and pampering have landed your daughter. In a police cell. I wasn't the one that chased her out of the house. Well, for your information, it didn't start when she left my house. This is who she has always been. Because you failed to take care of her. What else do you know? Eh? What else do you know apart from your job? Be quiet! For once. No, Papa. Let her talk. Mama, talk. What haven't you said to me already? I failed to take care of her. Is she my child? Shifty responsibilities. Look, I don't like the way you talk to this girl. Let her go and get married. Eh? 
Let her go and get married. Her mates are happily married. Let her go and get married. You should go and die for all I care. For your mates! Happily dead and buried. What's that? Margaret! 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 About what? Eh? Why are you shouting my bread? Margaret! Now. What? Hello? Hello? I can't hear you. Hello? Oh, network is bad. Who was that? My contractor. I didn't really hear him well, but I think I'm needed at work. You tell him that you were arrested and all of a sudden, the call drops. This is the guy you were sticking your neck out for. You know, Beauty, you may think that I hate you, but God knows I've only ever wanted you to be a better person. Maybe this will teach you a lesson. I'm truly sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, if I had known that she were with Greg, I would have never have attempted it. I would have come close. Maybe. Please, no. Anyway, Busola is calling me. I have to go. I'll see you later. Oh, hey. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Busola, I can't believe my ears. How long have you known this guy that you're already borrowing him five million naira? Meg, Meg, chill. That money is not for Dash. He's definitely going to pay me back. Now listen, the plan is, I just want this guy to get very comfortable around me. So after I must have gotten back my cash, taken in for him, the next thing is for me to just kick him out of my life just like that. And he won't see that coming. <laughs> okay. I can see you've got this all figured out. Oh yes, all figured out. Trust me. I just hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, girl, I know what I am doing. Relax, chill. Ah. <laughs> yes! Yes, yes, yes. Babe, what's the excitement about? Babe, the goods have arrived. I told you not to worry yourself that everything is going to be okay. Yeah, but you know I couldn't afford to lose that money, but there's a slight hitch. Which is? I need like two million naira, you know, for clearing and distribution. But I know within two weeks I'll pay back everything I'm owing. Okay, um, I'll get that for you first thing tomorrow morning. Baby, oh, oh, Baby, baby, baby how? <laughs> Remember the money I told you I was going to bring for our wedding? Baby, not the, the wedding money. Yeah. <laughs> I, 
Look, I, I don't know how to pay you back for all the years. You have shown me so much love. Don't worry, baby. Um, sacrifice is the best act of love. And you know that. I love you so much, baby. I love you too. I love you too. Oh. <laughs> the wedding <way the> money. <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry, sister. I'm so sorry for dragging the family's name into the mud. Guilty. Don't do that. It's okay. Just go and take a shower and get some rest or something. It's okay. So, you actually forgive me? Beauty, you are pregnant. I am talking to you. Who's responsible? I said who's responsible? Jerry. Jerry. Same guy you tried to help. Same guy you reached out to when you were in the police cell and he dropped the phone on you. Same guy. Wait, wait, wait. who is Jen? Her Who's boyfriend. She... Her boyfriend. You to just look at you, so just look at you. Now you are pregnant for an idiot that wouldn't even help you out when you need. Just, just look at you. And you to. Please. Get it, come. Please, please. Um, is this um, the Jerry? Is he the one? Jerry! I am finished. What is it? I mean, that's the guy I gave my five million naira to. Oh my God, what have Jerry. I done to myself? Jerry! <laughs> Oh yes, we're here to see Jerry. He moved out yesterday. What? 
He has been owing for the property, so I could not even sell to him. Hey! <sighs> you don't have any information about. Not at all. <sighs> What's the problem, ladies? <sighs> oh, oh, hello. Uh, do you live here? Not really, Bo. I'm always here. This is my man's house. Any problem? Hey, hey, um, who's your man? Jerry. Well, sister, your supposed man is a fraud. He owes my friend here five million naira and he impregnated my sister. And we've just learned that he vacated his premises. No, 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 no. Oh my God, this had better not be true. I took 15 million naira loan from the bank for Jerry and, and I gave him two million naira from my account. Oh my God. Smarted you, but don't beat yourself up about it. I mean, it's not like you had good intentions yourself. Obviously, you don't feel my pain. Or is it safe for me to say you're happy about this? Michelle, how can you even say that? Of course, I'm saddened by all this, but at the end of the day, life has to go on. So please, just try and pull yourself together, okay? Okay? Oh, stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. You'll be okay, okay? You have to go, yeah? Take care of yourself. Stop crying. Stop crying. You'll be okay, okay? Good okay. night. Good night. We've been through a lot as a family. This is not the right time. Oh, sis, please. I beg you, God's name, please. Allow me to fix this. Let's do things a little different this time. Please, allow me to fix this. I never had an inkling that both of you were an item. If I did, I would never, ever have come close. Please, Meg, allow me to fix this. Please. Please. He cares about you as much as I do. You're my sister. And I love you. I'm sure he cares about you the same way. Going from here. I got a new place. You did? Yep. <laughs> nice. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Yeah, 
so I have the whole space now. Babe? Mm -hmm. What's this? Margaret, I lost you once. I don't want to lose you again. Not the time to fight, ladies. Let God judge each and every one of us accordingly. <laughs> <laughs> 